Hi, my friends, I'm Father George, and I'm glad to see you again. I'm glad to be with you, praying and reading the Holy Gospel daily. Today, we're going to take the Gospel from John 6, 16, 21. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, Jesus disconcerted us. We are used to a Redeemer who, attentive to all kinds of human destitution, will not doubt to have recourse to his divine power. In fact, this happens just after the multiplication of the loaves and fishes to feed a large hungry crowd. But now, instead, he disconcerts us with a miracle to walk over the waters that looked very much like Jesus was just playing to the gallery. Certainly not. Jesus had already discarded, discarded using his divine power to look for personal sparkle or profit when, at the beginning of his mission, he refused to be tempted by the evil one. By walking over the waters, Jesus Christ is showing his mastery of all things created. We might, however, also see a dramatization of his dominion over the evil one represented by the dark and stormy sea. Do not be afraid, Jesus told them on that occasion, but take heart, I have overcome the world. He will them them after the Last Supper. Lastly, it is Jesus who, the Paschal morning, told the women after he rose from the tomb, Do not be afraid. Through the testimony of the apostles, we are aware of Jesus' victories over men's enemies, sin and death. This is why, today, his words resound on our heart with a special strength as they are the words of someone who is alive. The same words Jesus had dreams, Peter and the Apostles were represented by St. John Paul II, Peter's successor, at the beginning of his papacy. Do not be afraid. It was a call to open our hearts, our own existence, to the resurrection so that will him we are uh, not afraid to face the attacks of Christians' enemies. Before our personal finance to successfully carry out the missions the Lord enacts us to do a vocation and apostolic project a service, we may console ourselves just know without the Virgin Mary. After all, a creature like ourselves also heard the same words from the angel before facing the mission which the Lord had enthused her with. Let us learn from the heart to accept just in by in Jesus' invitation every day in every circumstance. I hope you said yes, Jesus. That's our desire. By now, remember to live in love, because love gives value to things.